Hey, space enthusiasts! Welcome back to another fascinating journey beyond our world. Today, let's answer a mind-bending question. How long does it take to reach the moon? Believe it or not, the answer is more complex than you might think. So, buckle up. First, let's go back to 1969, the historic Apollo 11 mission. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their giant leap for mankind, it took them about 76 hours to reach lunar orbit. That's just over three days. They traveled in the Apollo spacecraft, which was designed to make the trip as quick and safe as possible. Now, modern missions can vary quite a bit in duration. For instance, NASA's Artemis missions, aimed at returning humans to the moon, are expected to take around the same time as Apollo, approximately three days. These missions use advanced spacecraft that are faster and more efficient. But wait, not all missions are this quick. Robotic missions, like the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, can take a bit longer. Why? Because they follow different paths to conserve fuel. Some of these missions can take up to five days to reach lunar orbit. And here's an interesting tidbit. The fastest mission to the moon was the New Horizons mission to Pluto. Although it wasn't designed to land on the moon, it zipped past in just 8 hours and 35 minutes. That's because it used a direct, high-speed trajectory, not worrying about slowing down to enter lunar orbit. So, what's the takeaway? If you're hitching a ride on a human mission like Apollo or Artemis, expect roughly three days of travel time. Robotic missions can take a bit longer, depending on their objectives and paths. And there you have it. The journey to the moon is a fascinating blend of speed, technology, and cosmic navigation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more out of this world content. Thanks for watching. Keep looking up and keep exploring.